So welcome to chapter 7 of Fundamental Analysis Series 2.0. This is Mind Your Investment and we are talking about how to evaluate a company which is loss making. Now <clears throat> before we start there are certain things that you need to know. First I never recommend investing in a company that is loss making. However you might find certain companies where losses are subsiding heavily as in let's say last quarter the losses were around 1000 crores this quarter the losses are around 200 crores so because the company's losses is reducing or subsiding then the possibility of the company becoming profitable from the coming quarters is one of the reasons why the company share price is rising in such cases yes we can totally invest in the companies now i'll show you a few examples of the companies but let's talk about what is price to sales model first. Now the price to sales model works on one basic ratio, which is called the price to sales ratio. Now the calculation for that is quite simple. We have to consider the last four quarters from the current quarter and divide that by the current market capital. Once we get that number, we will get the price to sales ratio. Now the price to sales ratio tells us what is the company's price trading in comparison to company sales. Is the company trading at a higher premium than the company's price? We get to find out from price to sales ratio. Now you can find the ratio of price to sales very easily on screener.in. Now all you have to do is go to this website screener.in. The link to that is in the description. Go over here and search whichever company you want to analyze. So let's say we want to analyze Tata Motors. Tata Motors is a loss making company. Let's analyze that. But after this, we'll also analyze few companies which are in the small cap categories where the companies are just above 20,000 crores maybe where these models might work. So on this page, you'll see something called the edit ratio box. Over here, I have a lot of things mentioned. I'll just quickly disable these and add the parameters that are important. So the first parameter that we'll add is the price to sales ratio. So this is the first parameter. Once you enter, it comes here. The next one you would want to add is number of equity shares, which is also very important. And third, you want to add is sales growth rate. So you have the expected quarterly sales growth rate, and you can also add the expected profit growth rate. Once you have these four parameters added in the a quick ratio section you just save this box you will get all the numbers over here like price to sales ratio number of equity shares expected quarterly figures going forward in the next quarter expected net profit is also given but we will only use a few of them but it is good to have these in your parameters set so the first thing that we have to do is we have to scroll down and come to the quarterly results box over here you'll see that we have the quarterly figures sales numbers given here the september quarter's number is 61379 december's is 72229 now because these are the latest figures what we have to do we have to take the average of these two numbers so we'll quickly take out the calculator and take the average of of 72229 plus 61379 right we get this figure, we divide this by two. Now, since this is quarterly based, what we have to do is we have to convert this in yearly format. How do we do that? We just multiply this by four. So we get this figure. Now, once we have this figure, we have to assume what will this figure grow going forward till the next quarter or next year. How do we do that? We look at the company's sales growth figures. Now, if you look at the profit and loss statement, which is a yearly statement and click on this box in the screen in, you'll get the sales growth rate of the company. Overall, on average, we see that the company's sales growth on good times were about 8% in 2008, uh, 2018. In 2019, it was 3.56%, then negative and then again negative because of COVID pandemic issues. So we can assume that the company might grow at a rate of 5% going forward in the next year. So how do we do the calculation? If you have seen our other videos, then you will know. We just multiply this by 1.05, which denotes this is additional 5% on this amount. 
So we do equal to, we get the 5% growth rate of forward sales figure for the next year, right? Now, after we get this, it is very simple. We just have to go on the top section over here. We have to multiply this by the price to sales ratio. What is the price to sales ratio? It is 0 0.62. We get this figure. Now, this figure has to be divided by the number of equity shares that are being traded in the market right now. That is 332 crores. So we just write this figure and we get 523. This is the target price of Tata Motors for the price to sales model. We cannot use the net profit model or the other uh, valuation models like EPS model or forward PE model on this company because the company's net profit is a negative if you see. May it be quarterly figures, may it be yearly figures, the company is always in loss. So to evaluate the company, we did this valuation model. And if you see, going by the last one year's uh, price of the company, it went up to a level of 531s. Right now it is at 501. So after the announcement of December 2021 uh, quarterly figures, we can assume that the company till the next quarterly results, which is the uh, March 2022 quarterly figures, should at least touch a score of 523. Right now the company is at 500 rupees. And I hope this is very simple for you to understand because we did it very quickly. Let me show you another example of a company using the price to sales model. So now let's look at companies which have small market capitals or market capitals above 10,000 or 20,000 crores. Generally, I would recommend that you invest in companies which have market capital above 20,000 crores for safer investment because below 20,000 crores or below 10,000 crores is where there is a lot of operator play. So you try to avoid these companies because even if the company's fundamentals are strong on the sheet, it might actually be totally the opposite in the real world scenario. So either way, let's look at the companies which are like that. So we go to the screener.in section, go to tools and create a stock query. So we can uh, search market capitalization uh, should be more than 10,000 crores. And we want the net profit to be less than zero because we are looking for loss making companies. Now, when we have this, we can go and choose companies which have lower market capital like uh, all of these companies, PVR, IDFC, Tata Motors, uh, Alok Industries. So there are so many companies on this list, 25 companies, but let's look at uh, or analyze a few companies from this list. So uh, we can try analyzing IDFC first. IDFC is a banking company, although uh, in the last couple of quarters, the numbers were quite poor, but still let's analyze this company. So again, we take out a calculator. Uh, we clean the box and over here we first have to take the average of the last quarterly figures so it is uh, in revenue over here if you see so we do 109 plus 136 and then we divide this by 2. once we get this figure we have to multiply this by 4 to convert it into yearly figure after we do that we have to multiply this by the growth rate of revenue that we can assume. Now over here we can see that the company's uh, revenue in the last couple of years like from 2018 it has been more or less in the same range so we can assume again 5% growth rate could be 10% also but since it is uh, in that kind of territory we can assume 5% growth rate. So we will do a multiplication of this by 1.05 and we get 514. This is the forward sales figure for the company yearly wise for the next quarter, right? Now, what do we do with this? We have to multiply this by the price to sales number. You see the price to sales on this company is 21.8. So we multiply this by 21.8, we get this figure, and then we divide this by the number of share capital, which is 160. If we do that, we get a score of 70.10. Now let's look at the company share price. The company share price right now is at 65 and the latest quarterly figures isn't announced yet. 
So company September quarterly figures were announced around the uh, October to November periods. That point in time, the company share price was around 56. Uh, it fell down in the last sell off, which we saw in the month of December, all the way to 47. But even before the announcement of December quarter, because that is not out yet, but the company share price reached a value of 67, which is very close to the target price that we had. Why? Because that is the fair value of the company. The moment a company starts trading much lower than the intrinsic value, the company share price will be forced to come back to the price where the intrinsic value is. It may trade 10% more than the intrinsic value, it may trade 10% lower than the intrinsic value. But a company cannot be trading 30-40% below the target price that we calculated. We got a target price of 70. The moment the company share price is let's say 30-40 or 50% lower than that, a huge volume of buying will come and the company share price will go to the levels of its intrinsic value. Right? Let me show you another example. Let's look at Alok Industries, right? Alok Industries is a famous company. It has been doing quite well right now because since December quarter, the numbers of the company for sales have been growing very sharply. It was earlier around 800 or 700 crores. Then from December, it became 1200, 1400. And in September and December, 2000 crores, the company touched. So let's evaluate this company. So the concept is again very simple. We just have to take the last two quarters number 2129 plus September's number 1904. Then we divide this by two. So we get the average quarterly figure number for quarterly basis. We convert this into yearly by multiplying it by four. And after that, we have to assume a growth rate for the company. Now, in the company, if you look at the company's growth rate in terms of uh, sales, Right now, it has been growing at a rate of 16% and based on the quarterly figures, we can say that yes, it is close to that. So we can assume a 15% growth rate for the company going forward. So how do we do that? We multiply this by 1.15 and we get 9,275. Now, this we have to multiply very simply by the price to sales ratio, which is 2.04. And after that, we have to divide this by the number of share capital, which is 497. So we get a target price of 38.74. The company share price right now is at 27.80. The company highest price after the announcement of the quarterly results was at 34. So you can see that this kind of target is always achievable if you use the price to sales model. It may not be 100% accurate because this is just one model, but there are so many models that you can use. So I put a lot of weightage in price to sales model for evaluating companies that are loss making because this is the best model for doing so. 38 was the target or the fair value company reached 34. Again, like I said, generally a company may trade around 10% on discount or 10% on premium of the fair value but it will not trade 30-40% lower than the fair value of the company. Right now, the company is at 27 or 28. It can be a good opportunity to buy into the share looking at other fundamental factors from the fundamental analysis Excel sheet that we have. If you have purchased it, try using that. You will get a proper fundamental report of the company. For more accurate target price calculations, use the stock valuation Excel sheet. The description of how to use it is on our channel top left hand corner. Watch it. Here you have 10 valuation models for companies which will help you get a target price from models like modified Graham number, price to sales model, EPS PE model, CAPM model, average PE model, then there is net profit model, DCF model. All of the target prices are automatically calculated here provided you fill just a few basic boxes which are here. Once you use this, you will get the best possible target price for a stock, which is always achievable. If fundamental analysis is how you invest and you want to invest in stocks for swing trading based on quarterly results and exit and book your profits within the next three to six months, then definitely purchase the stock valuation Excel sheet. But again, it's not necessary. You can use the free models, which I showed you the calculation. It takes a bit of time manually, 
but with this everything is done automatically and you get more varieties of target prices all of them combined together so thank you for watching today's video i hope you had fun watching it we have three courses going on right now about technical analysis fundamental analysis and future and option strategies and implementations the technical analysis is a course where we talk about the best strategy to accumulate shares for long term using technical analysis. It's one of the best strategies that we have. And believe me, it works 100% of the times and only on around 125 companies. And they will always make you 20% return every year if you follow this strategy. Second is how to take swing trading positions in company using technical analysis. Third one is how to take positions using intraday strategies fourth one is some important price action concepts which will help you take positions on swing trading or on day trading and help you make a lot of money the fundamental analysis course is about number one how to pick stocks using the top down analysis then we talk about sector rotation and sector play with market psychology how important that is and how to pick the sectors which are supposed to do well how to know them earlier and how to track them all of that is in that part. Then the third one is how to do bottom-up analysis using Excel sheets like this. And finally, portfolio management, how to properly build your portfolio. And finally, we talk about the futures and option course. This is something that I will fully recommend all of you to get your hands on because this is what I do for a living. I trade in future and options for positional trades and for swing trades and some day trading also and make the best possible return that I can from these techniques. So this is how I make my bread and butter apart from YouTube channel. So this is something that I would recommend you take and understand. I will show you the best strategies that you can take using futures and options with just a margin of 35,000 every day or even positional trades using futures. Again, with futures at a margin of 35,000 and make big return from it. So give it a try. If you want to learn more about it, contact us on the number here. I'll send you our handbook about the course. So I'll see you guys in the next video or very soon on our webinar where we do live sessions. So quickly go and get the package that you want if you are interested and I'll see you.